Okay, you guys, the, uh, the Steve Keen book arrived, I guess, yesterday, but I never opened my front door, <laughs> so I just discovered it this morning. So let's do an unboxing. Uh, on the back is the uh, hype sticker. It's a giant hype sticker. Um, quotes by uh, Shepard Fairey, Malcolmus, etc. Okay. And you'll forgive me, but I've got my... It's like 7 o'clock in the morning, so... There might be some slurping sounds and some shadows for my tea. Let's see what we got. Wow. They're numbered. My copy is number 534. And this book was made by Daniel Ephraim. It was uh, Art Direction by Henry Owings, edited by Gail O'Hara, of course, of Chick Factor magazine. Seems that there's some essays in here. And I suspect I'm going to spend most of the day reading this today since the opening is this week and it starts to uh, I start to get involved with the opening tomorrow for a couple hours so these are great Oh, I love these. I saw some of these in the um, in the photos for the New York event. I really wanted some of the Queens ones. I have that one. Look at that Beach Boys one up there. I'm just going fast for the video because I don't want the video to be a million hours long. I used to have Abraham Lincoln ones. I forgot all about them. But I bet they were the precursor to these. Because mine weren't painted all the way in. They were just like um, black and white. Charlottesville one. Bob. I'm guessing that's the red house in uh, in Charlottesville. I'm assuming that's what that is, but I could be completely wrong. Feels like two, yeah, it's two pages stuck together. Don't 
That's great. I don't know if I've ever told this story before, I'm sure I have, but <coughs> when I was looking for apartments in L.A. and I didn't know where to live or what to do, and I had sort of figured out after a month to just live in this neighborhood, live in the center of the map, right? Because since I didn't know anything and I just really needed a place to live, I figured everything would at least be an equal distance apart. And I walked down this street, and there were three different buildings. I applied for apartments at two of them. This one and, uh, and around the corner. Well, I applied around the corner first. And then I walked over here, and I looked in this apartment, and it was very similar to the other apartment. There was nothing... Um, all that different about them but they asked me if I wanted to see another unit in the building and I said sure and um, there's the ones out back this one had nobody living in it at the time but the one in the back somebody was living in it they were about to move out oh remember the all-star cafe oh my god I love this I've never seen these before I actually have a Times Square uh, Steve Keen painting on the wall to the left of me right now, but these are great. Um, anyway, so I looked at the, uh, oh, look at that Carnegie Hall. I looked at the apartment uh, across the way that was still had somebody living in it who was about to move out, and they had a Steve Keen soul coughing poster on the wall, and I'd never seen it before, and that was my sign that this was the building that the universe wanted me to move into. And those World Trade Center ones. Wow. <laughs> You'll go on a bed piece. I love some of the shorthand a lot. I can't remember. One of my albums is actually the title is a like a two word email from Steve. Like I had emailed him about something and he just wrote back two words. I can't remember which one it is now. And I, the two words were so great I used them for an album title. I've never seen that guitar before. It's pretty cool. Sorry, take it off the sweatshirt. No, oh, I have a Clash uh, London Calling. And keep it over the fridge, but of course it's not on the wall right now. 
because it's going to the uh, the event for this book. I would like a Patty Smith horses. I wish I had some um, Steve Keen REM, and I'm surprised that so far in the book we haven't seen a single REM. This Beach Boys record is very, very special to me, even though it's not a very good record. I would like to have one of those in my collection as well. Oh, I love the Holland. I've seen him do Holland a bunch of times. I would love a Beach Boys Holland. Look how great that is. There's a lot of Beatles. I think just because they sell. I think sometimes when he's wants to do popular work, he just says Beatles because they just sell. Every you know, somebody will always buy one. I wish I had one of these. I might actually own one of these and I don't remember. Isn't that terrible? I don't think I do. I'd really like one of these. these Bowies very much. I really wish there was a Bowie reality. I think there is. I think I've seen it once. I would love like a Bowie reality or a Bowie um, hours. God, these are great. I have these. For all I know, these might even be photographs of mine. I can't remember. I have one of these. I have one of these. I have one of these. I mean, this is just, as it is to so many people, it's just such an important record to me. I keep it over. This one's hung over the fridge. Um, oh, sorry, I got crooked here. And it's one of the first things I see every morning. I've never seen that before. Was that the only one on creation? Or the first two were on creation, maybe. Can't remember. 
obviously these are my favorites. I've got all of these. I don't have that one. I've never seen that before. Actually, I don't think I have the Major Leagues one either. Wow. I think that one's mine. I'm almost positive. I can't remember. I just do so much. Even when I'm doing nothing, there's always just so much happening. I would like an REM document. That would be wonderful. I really like that Prince 1999. I mean, I love all these, but... I love one of those too. I've had so many exile on main streets. I still have three little ones. I think that one's mine, I can't remember. I kind of like one of those, too. I mean, if I had enough wall space, I'd, I'd want all of them, but... I'd love one of those. God, that's great. Isn't that great? It really is one of the greatest albums of all time. Stripes. I don't know why I'm not that big of a White Stripes fan. Maybe somebody will trade me for an REM one. Is always your chicken on an album cover, or is it just... I've never seen these before. These are great. Look at these. I would love that one. Those are wonderful. Oh, sorry, the book keeps getting... I get so excited about the uh, work. I would love one of these, but they always go for like a thousand dollars on eBay. I used to have a bunch of little trees, but not pavement trees. Pretty cool, you guys. You can get it from uh, Tractor Beam. I know it's being sold on the pavement. 
web store too. You can get it probably in LA at the uh, at the event this week, but you might not be watching this for another two years for all I know. So anyway, good job, Dan. That's the Steve Keen book. Very excited. I can't wait to read the whole thing. All right, see you guys.